Another uh, entertaining question from Real Self is how long do I have to wait before I can have sex after a breast augmentation? I tell all my patients, and I don't know, this is probably uh, a little bit far out there, but I tell all my patients they can have sex the next day. Um, a lot of times I won't feel like it. Obviously I have to use common sense. I, I somewhat say tongue in cheek, no swinging from chandeliers afterwards, but I don't think having sex per se is dangerous after an operation. Um, I tell people I don't want their heart rate going through the roof and I said that to one patient, well how can I have sex if my heart rate won't go way up? So again, it can go up a little bit, but you don't want to set a record. But I think having sex is um, perfectly fine. I tell all my patients to take a shower the next day and a lot of them say, oh my goodness, my breasts will get wet or my incision on my stomach will get wet or whatever. Incisions will get wet, it's not going to hurt them. It's a total myth that water is going to cause you to have an infection. Um, all of my patients have sterile strips over their incisions, but even without that, fresh clean water won't hurt them. If you think about it, a person that comes in with a very bad burn to the hospital, what's the first thing they do? They put them in a burn bath, which is really just water. And uh, so from my standpoint, people will feel better if they take a shower. They'll feel much more human. That gets them moving. It loosens them up. So you absolutely can have sex. If you don't feel like sex, you absolutely should have a shower though.